I found the most transformative things that I can do in my life is read and obey this and actually listen and build my life around what I hear God speak to me. I experienced God as a father at the age of, of 23. I was actually up early in the morning and I was reading. I was just spending time with him and his word and just trying to learn and, and grow in my relationship with him. And, and as I was doing that, it was around 6.30 in the morning and I started to see these past hurts, these wounds that I had taken as a child and as a teenager, I, these memories started to flood through my mind and my heart of being bullied as a child, of being beat up as a, as a kid from friends and um, different things with family. Like it was just all of these past memories and hurts were actually flooding through my mind. And as I sat with the word of God, listening for the spirit of God, I, I started to go, God, like, why, why are these images passing through my mind? Like I'm trying to spend time with you. And in that brief moment, um, God just started to father me. He just said, son, I don't see you as a failure. I don't see you as, as, um, as someone who is, is a loser. I, he, he just used this fatherly language and he just started to say, son, I see you as a champion, I see you as an overcomer. I see you as someone who's able to achieve great things. I see you as my son. And he just in that moment fathered me. And what I didn't realize sitting with all of those memories flashing through my mind and heart is that I had constructed my life around this single word, failure. I believed that I was a failure. I, I actually believed it. I would sabotage relationships, projects, um, opportunities, friendships, because of my failure, I would, I would try to reject them because I was terrified of, of someone discovering what I believed about myself, that I was a failure. I, had, I did not want anyone to ever discover that. And there alone with God, he started to father me. Alone in that room, he just started to speak to me and say, son, I don't see you as a failure. I don't see you as the product of your faults or the product of your upbringing. I see you as my son. You're a champion. You're a hero. You're amazing. And he just fathered me. And in that moment, it was the first time I started to believe his word, his voice over my own, over my past. And, and I started to have faith to believe that I was who he said I was, and in doing so, started to see that Jesus had been given to me, um, given for me, and, and the fruit of his life given actually could free me from my past. And, and it just, he fathered me into freedom. And I honestly believe that God, the Father of light, who's the giver of every good and perfect gift. He, there's no shifting shadows with him. He is given towards you. He is for you. He wants to protect you. He wants to provide for you. He's so kind and patient and creative, and he actually wants to see you live into the potential of the image that he's recreated you into, that you have been unified into his likeness because of the cross of Jesus and because the Holy Spirit who is given to actually activate you into faith and union in God. See, he is for you. I just want to encourage you, like, God sees you. He's a father and he actually wants to remove the, the weights of the words and the lies that we've believed about ourselves, that he wants to reveal who you are in the light of his son who is given for you. He's a father and when you draw close to him, he will father you in righteousness.